Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. And it is raining. Ugh, back to normal. We've got rain and gloom. And if you can hear banging and all kinds of noises, Gary's um, tackling a bit of plumbing and um, pretty soon, hopefully, his brother will arrive to give him a hand because things have not gone according to plan and at the moment our bath is out of action which means our shower is also out of action so it's a good job this is not smelly vision no i have had a wash but you know we need it we need the bath so uh hopefully everything crossed they'll work that out so last night i had a bit of a weird night i mean i went to bed early I'd been going to bed late the last few nights. It started with the boxing and then I finished my project. So that made me up late the next night. I slept in a bit, so that's not a problem. But um, I went to bed quite early last night and got off to sleep fairly quick. And I had a troubled night. Not in as much as that I woke up a lot, but um, which I, I kind of must have. But I kept waking up with cramp. Like, and I thought, hang on a minute. You know, you take your multivitamin, you take your magnesium, what's going on? It's not like you don't put salt on your dinner either, you know. So I just figured out, oh, maybe it is the salt. Maybe it is that simple as that potassiums and perhaps salt. Because um, just recently, since I started this diet, I haven't had an awful lot of um, vegetables. So therefore, I don't salt them. So that's one part of salt gone. I do salt my, if I'm maybe cooking chicken, I'll put salt on the skin, make it crispier. and Because you can eat that on, <laughs> on a, a low carb diet. So, you know, I try and, I do eat some salt, but obviously I've not got as much salt um, in my body. So therefore not as much in the way of electrolytes. So I figured, okay, I'm going to do um, um, a bit of a, what I used to do. See now, when I used to do this diet before, I used to get slight cramping when I stood up. It used, my muscles used to go, ooh, but it didn't hurt. It was just a, a kind of a vague tightening. But I figured now that I'm a bit older than that, a couple of, maybe half an hour. No, now I'm a little bit older than that. Um, my body's not metabolizing those nutrients the way it used to. So instead of a little tightening, I'm getting, screaming agony cramps so um i managed to stave it off a couple of times when i woke up by moving and, and getting in a different position and straightening it out and all this that and the other but the last time uh, the last time it woke me was this morning and oh dear oh dear i was yelling i was yelling and the pain is still there now because um, even though I massaged it and massaged it and it, it kind of allowed, it was hard to walk at first, but now it's such a big muscle that I have an achy leg because of it. I have, and I can feel it all the time, this ache where it's really cramped up as, um, and you know, awful, absolutely awful. So I thought, well, you know, what I used to do when I had the vague tightenings all those years ago is have an OXO cube in water like a beef one and just drink it so it, what they call a beef tea it's not really tea it's not really beef probably but and beef oxo in water so i thought i'm gonna do that i had a beef tea this morning so hopefully that satisfied my lack of salt um but to potassium i'm not having obviously because i need bananas potatoes or any of that stuff but i'm taking a multivitamin so it is annoying and I take the one the you know the, the the magnesium one two a day which is meant to stave off cramp and it didn't stave it off this morning oh my god so not only did I have that in the night giving me a troubled night I had an awful dream and um it was a horrible dream it was about Gary so um I had to kind of remember this morning don't have the up with Gary <laughs> it was a dream to do that though you know when you go to bed and you have a dream about especially about someone do you make them pay for it because i don't in the past you know when i was married if i had an awful dream about him i used to like he used to like, give him a bit of what for the next day and he, he hadn't done anything as far as i was aware he did plenty though 
so he deserved it but <laughs> just saying but you know what i mean why do we keep we carry it about with us for hours when we wake up it's like oh, you did that but they didn't <laughs> they didn't do it you just did it in your head so you know it is a weird thing turn that down i won't turn it off but um yeah it is though isn't it you do you you just carry this grump with you when you <laughs> when you wake up or you're just troubled by it and you think it can happen when you know the chances are no i'm turning it off i'm actually cold can you believe it so um i got my ice yarn package oh wow so i did a little video of it so that's uh that's up um and the other well i didn't met i don't think i mentioned it but you know you get these letters about bum cancer i don't know you, you probably get them or not but um the times i've had that letter that says in a couple of weeks we'll be dropping um sending you your screening kit so that you can send off a sample and those letters have never ever had a follow-up kit ever so uh Gary got one first um, about a couple of months ago. And when he got it, I thought, oh, I wish I could get that, you know, because I have lots of digestive problems, digestive issues. And there's always this niggling kind of thing that says, what if they're related to something worse? Anyway, I got one and I thought, oh, but the kit doesn't arrive. Well, it did. And I sent it off. And I got the letter back today saying there's no need for any further... Um, investigation see you in two years time so yeah you know that was a bit of a relief it does also make a disclaimer saying these are not perfect and it doesn't mean that you're clear so why do it then you know it catches some i guess oh it's a bit hot yet but yeah so fine i got a good letter i actually got a good when <laughs> the postman brought it when he gave when he took the parcels and he and i went oh, nhs that's probably for me it usually is because obviously my previous cancer i have my ne new next checkup very soon and i thought it was that letter but it wasn't it was another one but yeah so that was good it was cool not you know having um an all clear and no, because I thought, you know, with all the sort of things that I experience with my digestive problems, I thought, I really don't want another colonoscopy. And if anything shows, that's what they're going to send you for, isn't it? So I was like, phew, I don't have to have it. So that's cool. Um, I did make a little note of a few things. And one of the things went out my head before I made the note. So I haven't got a clue what it is. But um, I've been making a couple of projects with the same stitch ready to do a tutorial so one of them is now finished one of them i made a decision in my uh, icn video what i'm going to do with it and the other one i just started as a blanket so um i can show all of those things when i do the tutorial so that was cool what else have i got oh yes so i've got an order today and i'm going to go out the yarn van after i finish here <laughs> it's not st it was standing up it's not anymore and uh, f stop playing with it just stop it that's it so i'm gonna go out there and package that and also do a bit more work when gary's brother's here especially because they're gonna be you know in there i'm gonna make sure i go to the loo first and then i'm gonna go out there out their way and and get sorted out there just a bit more work so um yeah while i'm away tomorrow is really my last posting off day um because we're going early thursday and so um tomorrow's the last day i can get them collected Bef sorry about that i had a bit of a um a bit of a problem um i ran out of charge not me my device i i thought it was completely full but it wasn't so hopefully i can stitch these two together stitch that Hopefully I can stitch them together and, and it will be fine. Otherwise, it'll just be a little part two. I've done it before, so it should be all right. But what a palaver it is. I seriously make work for myself. <sighs> Breathe. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, posting off. Um, so tomorrow's the last posting off day I've got um, before we go. So um, after that, it will just be the following Monday. As long as it's not a bank holiday, it'll be Tuesday. I don't know if it is. I think it's 
There is a bank holiday, but I think it might be. It might be. I don't know. I don't know when it is. But it'll be, you know, early part of next week. So um, I know a lot of companies don't post, post out straight away, but I normally do. So it feels like a long time for me. But, you know, others say, oh, 28 days for delivery. So that's, you know. I think Gary's calling me. Hang on. Um, that's another thing I was going to Hang on a second. I'm I'm recording. Sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know what he wanted. Um, I did tell him I was going to. Anyway, watching the TV this morning, there was a few things on there that were catching my eye. Um, but they also mentioned that they had Richard Marks on. And when I was uh young, I loved Richard Marks. I absolutely loved his songs and um I thought he was dead cute as well, that helped. But um, they had him on and he sang Hazard. And he's appearing in the Royal Albert Hall tonight. I didn't even know he was in the country. But he's done a little tour of the UK. If I'd have known, I might have gone. I don't know, I've been off gigs this last year or so. Um, not, not been to any and kind of not wanting to um, do any. But wow, yeah, he was on and it quite got very thin. But he wrote this new song of his. He didn't think, he didn't perform the new song, but he'd play a bit. He wrote it with his two, uh, three sons for his 60th birthday. So, uh, yeah, that was his present writing. Because all of his sons are musicians in their own right. One's a heavy rock one. One's more hip hoppy, and I can't remember the other one. Um, but they're all different kind of genres, but they all kind of, you know, did it and made this song it's a very very good song anyway check it out check it out um oh yeah the other thing i wanted to mention was i have one of these in stock i was showing this is mine i was showing zero in stock um but i'd brought one in when i did a my favorite accessories video once i didn't know where my own one was so i brought one in and um, so, yeah, there is one I had sold out. I am getting some more, but obviously it won't be for a little while. Um, I have uh, had too many new orders lately, so I've got to wait. But being not a big company, I can't just go, oh, let's order 25,000 of those. Can't do it. So I can you imagine 25,000 of those bouncing all over the place? But, you know, uh, I will get some more in. But I do have one because um, somebody asked me. And I can't remember who it was. So if you're watching, I have one now. Cheers, my tea has cooled down. So I don't know what it was that I thought about saying, um, but f forgot when I was seconds later when I was making the list. It's hard being flaky. It is. Oh, that makes it all better. Nice cup of biscuit tea. So Jane, look. It's all bright and cheerful. I haven't put batteries in it. I've plugged it into the mains. It does have a mains plug. Um, but it also charges up my other equipment. So sometimes it's over there. But there you go. Just for you. It's nice and changey. She calls that my moonlight. It's a nebula. But she calls it my moon. My moonlight. And then, of course, I've got this one on. It's better when your hair's down. Because if my hair was up, it's my face that's green. <laughs> Which, <laughs> some would say I'm a bit of an incredible Hulk. But, um, you know, they might get a bloody nose for it. <laughs> Cheers. My lovely cup. Look, Linda sent me this when I had 5k. 5k! We're looking at 20.5 now. Down the barrel of it. Looking down a barrel at 20.5, not 25. That's later on. Cheers. Well, I hope it is anyway. No, I'm, I'm jumping a gun a bit there. Oh, now I've got work to do. I've got to stitch this together. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? Unless I just... No, I can't do two videos. That's just laziness, isn't it, really? <laughs> just laziness. Blooming lazy. Anyway, I'm going to get off now and upload these videos, <laughs> put them together, hopefully, and um, go out and sort my 
Yana van and my order. Um, you know, never mind. Sometimes I have to pop out there two or three times. If another one comes in, I'll just go and do another one. But um, it get me out of the way. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, y'all. And bye for now.